out again uh, just looking around I am about 30 feet from a cellar hole and I just uh, got a signal thought I'd dig it and it paid off this time let me turn you around I'll show you what I got okay the hole is right there tip of my finger and coming along the side yard here and boom check it out old bat wing buckle there you go that is a find all right i'm gonna keep swinging see if there's anything else around this hole wish me luck Okay, low signal here, and I got myself a nice little thimble. I don't know what it's going to have on it, so we'll see. But yeah, it was ringing low, so uh, it's not silver, I'm sure. Let me clean it up. I'll be back. Thimble. Okay, it's got writing. I'll have to see if I can figure it out when I get home. I don't think it's terribly, terribly, terribly old. Maybe late 18, early 1900s. Nice, so nice relic. Let's keep looking. Okay, it's late in the afternoon and my phone already says it's low on battery, but I think I got a copper right here. And this is an old area, so, oh yes, what are you going to be? Oh, oh, I don't know. Damn, that side's pretty white. Okay, guys, this is uglier than I thought. I'm going to have to clean it up when I get home. But definitely, it's definitely a copper. All right, let's keep looking. Why not? Well, over in that sunny area, there used to be an old cellar hole, or there is an old cellar hole, I should say. And I was kind of walking along here. There's an old stone wall, and there's a road on the other side, and I got this weak signal about eight ten inches down and I thought it was a bullet look at that and it looks like it might have had like a little iron you see that little shape in there like something holding it and I have no idea what this is other than it's pewter I can kind of tell that but I think that's kind of neat I don't know what it is if you do, let me know. But it's going to go in my bag. Okay, guys, up in the woods, and I was walking down an old road, and I saw some lilies kind of just in the middle of nowhere. And I thought I'd come this way. Looked like a, maybe an old driveway of sorts. And uh, I'm hearing some noise. I'm just getting into it. I think I found an old iron cup a few minutes ago. And I just popped me out here. A nice little flat button. So I might be onto something here. I'm going to keep swinging. You never know. Okay, you can hear the farm trucks going by. This is a new permission. And I've determined that the old house used to be right here. Uh, and I was just got out of my truck. I'm walking up what used to be the driveway. And I pulled this little, I guess it's a bell. So let's see if it's got any. Let me try to knock the dirt out of it. Uh, I guess again, it's pretty hard to pack. Look, I might, looks like it might have a ringer in there. Possibly. So, first find of the day. Ten minutes. Five minutes.
Okay, just cleaned it out. Interesting. Not sure how old it is. Probably mid to late 1800s, possibly. Later than that. I don't think it goes earlier than 1860 or 70. All right. Let's see if I can find something else. So I'm trying else. to determine how old this site is. And I just got my a nice target here. It's going to tell me that it probably goes back to the early 1800s or late 1700s because that's a nice time back button right there. So starting to get on it now. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, this is the new permission and uh, I think I'm around the home site. Nice old rains guide. I have a collection of these. So I'm gonna, that's a keeper. Let me throw it in my pouch, we'll keep going. Hey guys, I'm here in the uh, cemetery and I've been hunting this site that uh, goes back quite a ways, probably early 1800s, maybe even 1700s. And there's a name on an 1854 map and uh, it's S. Dow, D-O-W. And I just like to kind of make this connection with the people who lived where uh, I, I'm hunting. And so I'm in this cemetery now. It's probably four or five miles away from the site. And right here is the family plot. So I'm going to turn you around. And I think that the name on the map, S. Dow, is either a Sarah Dow or a Sally Dow. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'll turn you around and I'll show you the gravestones. Okay, here's Sarah Dow. Uh, looks like she was married to James Dow. And of course you can see James was born in 1767 and died in 1847. And Sarah was born in 1775, I think it says, and died in 18... Uh, I'll have to check the record. I think it's like 58 or 68, something like I think it's 68. So on the 1854 map, Mrs. S. Dow could have been Sarah. She would have still been alive. And then over here is a Sally Dow. And she... I'm not sure. It looks like she died in 1865. So I'll have to check that record. And um, so these are probably two possibilities for the site that I've been detecting. And again, it's always nice to find an artifact, a relic, or a coin and relate to who it may have been who actually owned it, dropped it. So, that's the story. Okay, house site was right here someplace. Had a crazy signal and got me one of these things. I think they're called, well, I'm, I'm not even gonna try to say it. Hames? Tip or whatever they are, I don't know. But, hey, I'll take it. We're talking 1800s for sure. Almost looks like a trailer hitch. Hmm. Okay, right here on the edge of this cornfield, I just pulled out this old religious metal. Look at that thing. That is awesome. I have no idea what the year this is. I'll clean it up when I get home. But that's a heck of a nice piece. Early, too. Easily 150 years old. So, 
I'll clean it up, take some more pictures, and I got a little bit more sunlight. I'm going to keep going. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. That's a keeper. Look at the size of that water faucet, whatever it is. That is amazing. That's the biggest one I've ever dug. I'm gonna take that one home. That was not a great signal either, believe it or not. All right, on to the next. She said, I just got out of my truck. I dug a bell and a button. Now I've got this fob right here. Look at that thing. It's got writing on it. That is nice. Let me clean that off and see what I got. I'll be back. Okay, this is a nice fob. It says Seal of Atlantic City Incorporated March 3rd, I think it said 1854 or 64. So I don't know how old this is. That's just talking about the seal being incorporated. But I'd say that this is uh, got to be 100 years old, maybe. All right, I like this. Nice. On to the next. Okay, the house sat right here at the end of my finger. And right here on the surface, got me an old pocket knife. It was laying right here, right in that indentation, right on the surface. So, there's one I'll take home. Old farmer's pocket knife. Okay, this is some kind of a finial ornament, and it's an eagle, I believe. And uh, it looks like one of the wings is busted off. That would have been a beautiful piece if it was all there. Uh, and so it goes in the cornfield when the plows tear stuff apart. Okay, guys, they don't normally video everything, but this one's got me a little stump. This thing was completely tacoed, so I, I bent it out. It's, it looks like it's made of lead. It's, it's holed, and it looks like a big old counterfeit coin, but I can't see anything on it as of yet. So I'm going to get it home, inspect it a little bit more, see if I can figure out what the heck this thing was, straighten it a little bit more. But I wanted to catch it on film, video, film, and uh, let's see what we got. Interesting. Kind of right here on top of the house, if you will. And I had a nice signal coming up, but it turned out to be iron. And I just wouldn't give up on it. I'm kind of glad I didn't, because I collect those. Check that out. And that is a double-edged axe head. Cool. It was an old house that sat right there. This is a big old cornfield. And I just dug up this nice old suspender strap. I should say buckle, strap buckle. And I also dug, I don't know, this goofy looking spoon here. Uh, this nice little fancy buckle. And two buttons and a broken spoon or fork. Probably a spoon handle. So, I haven't filmed anything today, really, but I just dug that 
suspender strap buckle so I thought I'd show that looks like it's complete so I'm just gonna keep moseying along nice day I'm just gonna relax on to the next well like I said this is where the house sat right here in this little area and I just dug this thing right here and don't know what it is I don't know if it was a pin of some kind, but uh, just wanted to get that on video here. Don't know what it is, if anybody has any ideas. I'd say it was a little brooch, but gosh, I don't see where it attached anywhere. All right. You know, sometimes there's signals that you're just glad you kind of dug even though they didn't sound good. It just got me a 1942 dog tag. Amazing. And I have a dog tag collection and I'll add this to it. Sweet. Nineteen forty two Middlebury, Vermont. Okay, that's a good one.